All right, guys, what's going on? If you like uh, Dark Side Podcast, then go ahead and put hell yeah in the description, I don't know, in the description in the comments. But anyway, today we're going to be arguing the point, arguing Amp Token versus Alchemy Pay. So is Alchemy Pay just a clone or is this going to be a successor or a replacement for Amp Token? So um, he made a pretty good video and you know I do you know, I give credit where credit is due. So stay to the end, just in case you don't have a lot of time. I always go and I break it down and get the straight points. All right. So we're going to start. We have five points. So make sure you stay to the end. Avoid shiny object syndrome or clicking on ads. So point number five is he points out that if you are a daily charts person, you're going to be caught by the hype because alchemy is up. And what he's talking about is this right here. Let me move this out of the way. Is up 59.70% in the past 24 hours. All right. So why is that such a, a, you know, a situation? Well, we come over here, we look at AMP. AMP is actually down, you know. Uh, so it seems as if this clone is gaining on AMP, you know. But anyway, we're going to keep going. So number four reason is, okay, we're going to first go into what is alchemy? All right, what is Alchemy Pay? It's pretty much a clone of Flexa, okay? So we can look at the white paper of Alchemy to see that they're pretty much copying the exact same formula as AMP and Flexa. So uh, in another video, I guess I'll go through the white paper. So just stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that. Uh, I'm trying to get through this for you guys, okay? So number three point is he also goes into how Flexa doesn't really provide incentives. Now that's that's one of the things I always had an issue with. When I do business, I'm always talking about creating an irresistible offer. If you have other people or other competitors that, that uh, investors or consumers can choose from, what is going to stand out? You know, why should they choose you? Okay, uh, don't make it be because of price or something. Create some type of incentive. So AMP doesn't really, uh, Flexa doesn't really do the incentive. So Alchemy actually promotes their incentives proudly. This makes them super attractive to investors. Uh, so guess what? Alchemy is even including staking rewards for the merchant as well as the consumer. So it, 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 I, I'm not trying to like, get too hype on it, but they're picking at the holes in um, AMP's game, okay? So that's exactly what's happening, okay? So let's continue. All right, so that's pretty much gonna be difficult for Flexa to beat since they don't wanna give any, you know, real rewards or incentives, okay? All right, so we got number two, number two. And then you guys tell me, I already know, it's AMP Nation, Empire, you're gonna put all AMP in the, you know, but don't be cultish. There's nothing wrong with diversifying. You might wanna open up some more for your portfolio, especially since they're similar. I'm pretty sure you'll actually like this uh, token as well. It doesn't really matter who wins or not. If you got money in both, you're gonna be good. All right, so as far as the fraud proofing feature, um, AMP still wins this one. The reason is, if something goes wrong uh, with Alchemy Pay, the merchant is still responsible for the losses. Now that's a huge, that's a huge thumbs down for Alchemy Pay, you know, so AMP still wins for that. So the number one, the number one point that we have, drum roll, all right, AMP loses this one though, okay? AMP loses this one because as stated in the last AMP video, the one I did about Dark Side of Podcast the other day, in that video, AMP is, and, and Flex is really focusing on North America, the US, uh, you know, a little bit of Canada maybe, a little. But they're only focusing on that and they're ignoring all of the, majority of the people that try to pay me for my products and service uh, services are from outside the U.S. and they're always trying to pay me with some type of crypto. And remember, we're always talking about real life usage, real world application over here. In other countries, they're already using their crypto. In the American culture, we're just trading, swapping, and, and selling and stuff. Trying to, we're still trying to keep the U.S. dollar. <laughs> they're using cryptocurrency for what it actually is 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 built for over there in the different countries. So that would be um, where concentration should be. You would think for these cryptocurrencies, like you know what? All of these different countries are actually using the currency, using it as a real currency. AMP doesn't, uh, you know, focus on the U.S. I mean, they only focus on the U.S., you know, 
in the U.S. market, people aren't really buying things with cryptocurrency yet. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's a little loss right there. But in my honest opinion, you know, both of them are good. I'm still Amp Nation, but there's nothing wrong with diversifying your portfolio, especially if it's a coin or a token or an investment that makes sense. By the way, disclaimer, I cannot give investment advice. This is just a video entertainment or whatever. I'm not your financial advisor, but I can advise you to become financially free using the resources in the description of this video where you can invest something today and it will get you a guaranteed return every single month and no it's not dividends not how you think anyway all right so i would take advantage of that okay but i can't tell you to invest in any of these cryptocurrencies but anyway stay tuned i'm going to do a deeper uh breakdown of alchemy pay what it is should you buy and all of that extra stuff but anyway love you guys if you're new to the channel go ahead and do a Jet Li sidekick to the like button and a bruce lee spinning back hit subscription button and uh, when that bell pops up, it's not the end of a fighting round. It's letting you know that I just uploaded or went live and you don't want to miss it.